Hey guys, today I'm here with Tyler Jackson, who got 12th place at the Dallas Regionals Championship this weekend. And I'm here going over his deck list, Zor Zoroark Exodia. And he is here with me, and he's going to tell me how it runs, the combo for it, and just all around how the deck works. So, let's go over what's first, and that's Pokemon. So we have one Ditto, four Shaman. Four Zora, four Zorark GX, one Pseudo Wudo, one Execute, one Marsh Shadow, one Tapu Lele GX, and one Alolan Muck. So mm -hmm. you go over, you tell me how the Pokemon work, what everything's okay. for, and. Okay, so the reason for four shame is that you usually want to draw a lot of cards early on, but it's all our variants, regardless of what, regardless of what type of Zorak you're playing, like and stuff, but it's even more important with this set because you want to get your combo for turn number one and uh, very quickly and more efficiently. Okay, so you play you play one Ditto, one Alolan Mug. Mm -hmm. You play a lot of ones. Why a lot of ones? Like like Pseudo Wudo, you know, it's there to limit the bench for the mm -hmm. mirror match because you'll limit to them to only doing 120. Uh, uh, it's actually a hundred. Oh yeah, so sorry, a hundred. My mistake. Um, one Mars Shadow, you know, for the, just for the extra drawing and the mm -hmm. limiting thing down. But uh, why only one Tapu Lele GX? Well, mainly because you have four Shaman, so you already got to draw support anyways. And if you're going to use Lele, you usually want to get the the link plan, which is in the deck list, as we will discuss later, and why. The link is part of the combo. Now, Zorark GX is your main attacker. Um, how did you do against fighting decks, i.e. like Buzzwool, Lycanroc, Zorark, um, Baby Buzzwool, stuff like that? Funny enough, I actually was able to win all my matches against uh, fighting decks. I faced uh, Buzzrock and uh, Buzzwool, Landred, Zygarde, and... Prime of Groudon, all in my 15 rounds. Which which matchup was the hardest for you? Uh, I gotta say, probably the Buzzwell one. Nice. Well, yeah. so you didn't have any or, problems whatsoever. Yeah. That's well. I said my Buzzrock game did take like 40 minutes or so, but it was, it was a very uh tough situation for. Me. The both of us, so yeah. So why 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 Alolan Muck? Okay, so Alolan Muck allows me to shop uh, Suwo's abilities from from my opponent, as well as to shop uh, propagate executes from your opponent's discard pile. Uh, and so it's very important to shop the Suwo mainly, and you can also shop Shaman EX and uh, play GX ability from your opponent. Okay, so that, that helped with also locking your opponent down more mm -hmm. than just, you know, the combo that you do with this deck. So yes. now let's go over the trainer items. You have you have one battle compressor, your dow dowsing machine, your ace bag is computer search, you have mm -hmm. level ball, peaking red card, you have Pokemon communication, red card, Rescue Stretcher, Special Charge, Trainer's Mail, Ultra Ball, Versus Seeker, Choice Band, Floatstone, and then your um, stadium is Skyfield. So, tell me about these. Why? What is the what is the reason for these? Okay, so Battle Compressor, get your Execute in, this card pile as well as a Supporter, or like a Delinquent, or Guzma, or Colorus. And the level ball helps you get your uh, Zora or Marsha or Ditto in Execute. And so you can grab those and then pump it with an Ultra Ball later. And especially if you're grabbing Execute with your level ball. Red card is actually a key card in my combos because it lifts my opponent's hand down to four. And then beating red card is the end card of my combo. And so let me check. See what's in their hand. And computer search is my A spec because it allows me to search for any card in my deck. 
So if I need something like a supporter like a Cynthia, I'll grab it with a uh, computer search or like Professor Sycamore, or I could grab like a Versus Seeker as well. You just can grab anything, even a Pokemon like a Shaman EX. Okay. It's, it's such a great A spec for the deck. Pokemon communication, so I can trade out a Pokemon that I don't want in my hand. I can grab something that I actually need right at that time. Yeah, I'm starting to see more and more people play one computer search. Computer search. You gotta play one computer search. One Pokemon communication in every Zorak deck. Myself, I even played one in Expanded. The last time I played in Regionals last year, I played Pokemon communication. It's it's all around. It's all around just a good card, a good standard card in this type of deck, and it always mm. has been, even since Heart Soul Silver. So we go down now to what is your combo with these card with the cards? You know, red card peaking red card. Okay, so you first use your red card to limit your hand size to four, and then put your sky field down. Which is your stadium of choice, which which puts you or bench up to eight Pokemon, and then use a delinquent so you can get their hand size down to one. And after that, use Peaking Red Card to see if they have a draw support or ways to get draw support. And if they do, you just have to shuffle their hand back into their deck and draw the one card. Have draw one more one card back. Okay, so let's go over your supporter line. You have one Aceroa, one Colas, one Cynthia, two Delinquent, one Guzma, and one Luzumi. So mm -hmm. why such a small supporter line? Well, you already got plenty of draw support with both uh, Zorak GX and Shaman EX. His abilities lend you to draw a lot of your cards rather quickly. And so Aceroa is there to... For the mainly versus ever Zorg variants, after you guys fight each other with the two Willow on the field, so you just take your Zorg back and and hope and don't get revenge killed. Course is a very good support in uh like very great supporter for this deck. As it lets you uh, draw until you match the same size as your you your opponent's bend space, and since you're playing Skyfield, you can have a potential of power for 18. Cynthia, if you don't hit your combo early, still shuffle your hand in your deck, draw six, still good. Delinquent is so you can pull off the combo, like I explained earlier. Guzma, everyone knows that Guzma is one of the best support for cards in there. And it's in every deck, clean and st current standard and expanded decks. That's what allows you to move your opponent's uh, bench Pokemon onto their active uh, of their choice. And then you get to switch it to any Pokemon from your bench of their choice. This means it allows you to grab any combination of two supporters and uh, two stadiums. So you can grab your Skyfields back or or two supporters back if you get item locked, which is very key in an expanded format. Okay. So, let's go on to your energy count. Only four DCE. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have problems running into your energy or not having enough energy, or how did that go? Well, there were points where my opponent, Faba, put my energy to a loss now. So, Faba... Is a supporter that lets, lets you uh, put upon as a tool or special energy into the lost zone. Okay. Um, and there was times where I was placing a uh, iron lock of Bob Plum, Plum in there in the brass of Cordilli, a box. And that actually it made it difficult as I had to use my special charge to get those DTEs back into my deck. But when you get Iron Lock, you can't really get them back. You're right. Okay, so let's go ahead and play a match with this deck mm -hmm. and show how it works. Me and myself, I'm not good at this deck, so I'm going to put that warning out now. 
I'm absolutely not good with this deck. Ooh, Primal Groudon is now the ladder. Um, I'm not good at this deck. So I'll put that out there now that if I mess up, he can explain the deck while I'm playing. So we'll look for a match here, and we'll immediately get one. Thank God. Alright, so heads, and I'm going first. Well, I, I picked to go first, but... Alright, I start out with... Marshall, Pseudo Wudo, and Tapu Lele. I will start out with Pseudo Wudo. Mm -hmm. Good call on that. Alright, and I am going first, and I can grab the Lele. So what's in your hand outside the... Marshadow, Marshadow Tapu Lele, Float Stone, two Rescue Stretchers, one Skyfield, and one Trainer's Mail. I will drop the Skyfield. Mm -hmm. I will drop the Trainer's Mail. Grab a Delinquent. But I'm probably not going to use that. I'm going to use... Lele. I'm going to grab anything there. Just go for the Let Loose. I'm actually going to grab a supporter because I really need to see what I can actually draw here. I really need to get out some Zoras. Zoras? Yeah. I'm going to attach the float zone to Pseudo Wudo. I'm going to Cynthia. And I get a Ditto. That's helpful enough. And I have a red card and a peaking red card and a double colorless. So first, I'm going to, I'm going to red, red card or peaking red card first. Uh, red card. I'm gonna red card the one four. because it'll drop your hand size to four. All right, and then don't use peaking red card. I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and do that. There's, there's times I actually did have to do that in my actual run. He does or have a Kukui and an death. evolution to his Crab Brawler. So I think I am going to shuffle his hand back in. Uh, what was his ever part of his hand? Uh, a Versus Seeker and it, I think it was a, something else. But I'm going to keep Pseudo Wudo out on the active and I'm going to pass. If he had no draw support, then you should just let him keep it. Even if it's an evolution like he had a draw supporter. Oh, okay, then. Good call on that. He had a Kukui, but he also had the evolution, and he could have gotten an energy and knocked uh, him out. Kukui would not have been too helpful for him in that situation. Oh, he's playing Buzzwool. Oh. And you got... Well, it, you're still will not get knocked out. And he, he just used the Sycamore and dropped the baby Buzzwool. And a fighting energy... A choice band, and he passed. So good for me. So I'm gonna drop a Zorwar just cut down, evolve Ditto into Zorwark. Drop a DCE down. I'm going to trade away a Sorola into a choice band and a Versus Seeker. I'm going to Versus Seeker for Cynthia. Grab Cynthia. Attach choice band. Use Cynthia. Peaking red card. Ooh, Skyfield. Which I'm going to drop it because he's playing fi the fighting stadium. Fight it. Yeah, f literally fighting stadium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that card. It's not that good anymore. I'll I'm be honest with you. Trainer's mail to. I'm actually going to fail it. I don't need either of those, and that's just going to keep cards in my hand since I have a shaman. I'm actually going to peeking red card him. He has a Lysander and a Guzman, two fighting energies. I'm going to let him keep that. I mean, worst case, you'll just uh, Guzman up your uh, Sue Widow. Exactly. Or, or Zorua. Exactly, but I'm going to set up for four. And we have an egg, so I'm gonna ultra ball the egg and a chorus for and their shaman. Yep, I'm gonna grab another shaman. I 
need to wash my deck. I only have 28 cards and set up for three. I have a red card, a Pokemon communication, and a Zoroark, and I think I'm going to keep this hand the way it is. And then I'm going to retreat. Actually, I'm going to trainer's mail. I'll grab a level ball. Mm -hmm. Search out with the level ball for a Zorua. Drop the Zorua down. I am going to retreat, go into Zoroark, and use Riot as beating for 140. Take my first prize. Delinquent should be in my discard. Uh, make sure you do have it in your it discard. Is not, it is not, but I have a computer search. He hit me for 160 and 30 on my bench Zora, which I will evolve into Zora, so it does not get knocked out. I will now computer search a Versus Seeker and... The forget egg. Oh, you are also right, which I did forget, but I don't think I can cancel this, can I? Yeah, you can. That's on the trade card game. That's not a big deal. I'll just versus seeker away a versus seeker and a second versus seeker for a delinquent, wherever it went. As long as you have a skyfall ready. I do. Okay. And rescue structure? I do not have a rescue stretcher ready. Oh, you have, you have trade, though. I do have trade, so but I can't use it because... Actually, I can use it. So I'm going to delinquent away. Waiting for him to select his three cards. I have ran out of Versus Seeker so far. Oh, I'm missing one that's in my, my prizes. Or in my deck. It's probably in my prizes, which it is. Not a big deal. Want to discard one shaman. And then Pokemon Communication away Zorua. For Zoroark. Evolving the Zoroark. Trade my red card away. Propagate! I know. I'm going back for another trade. Uh, I'm going to propagate. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I will just trade this egg instead of just getting rid of the red card unless you didn't have egg in your discard. I did, but reminder, I have no idea how to play this deck. <laughs> I'm going to propagate again. And no more of that. And I'm going to ride his beating for 120. 150, actually. I did not get the knockout, but not a big deal. And he's sycamored. Evolved and put that down. Ooh, baby Landorus from Furious Fist. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, what? Oh, I don't think you played back then, did you? Alright, now I have rescue stretchers. I'm going to shuffle in Zoroark. Shaman uh, wants me to shuffle an egg, which isn't a big deal. Because I'm not going to be doing any more trading. I do not think. Actually, I will. So I'm going to trade away Shaman. I'm going to trade away my other Shaman. Actually, hate how you can't cancel things on here. Because I'm very prone to rethinking. This place. Yes, rethinking stuff over. 
while looking at it, which I mean, it's not a big big deal. I'm gonna go into my Tapu Lele and pass, so he doesn't knock me out. Unless he attaches an energy, then he will. Alright. So now, once you trade again, trade Zorwark away. And I got my double colorless. So now, I can actually rescue Stretcher, two Shaman, and a Zorwark. And now, attach a Floatstone, retreat into Zorwark, and use Riotus Beating for knockout. Knocking me down to three prizes. And I grabbed my last versus secret out of my prizes. So now I can start delinquenting again. What do you Keep in mind, you still should have uh, losing me somewhere. Um, it might be prized. I don't know if I saw it. Well, if oh, it's prized. He flipped two tails on swing around and he still knocked me out. Okay. Probably because of Diancy and uh. Nope, he does not have Diancy. Yeah. Oh, now I run into losing me. But right now I can't use it because I need to trade away for a double colorless. So I have a battle compressor, and I got my double colorless attached to Zoroark. Now I will lose a main just in case. Skyfield and Delinquent. I will Skyfield. Did I already play a supporter? I think I already did. Huh, it's not letting me play Delinquent. It's weird. I don't know if I already played a supporter. Oh yes, I play Lose me. I will not draw a Shaman. I will Versus Seeker. Lose a back. Now I will retreat into Zorwark. And use Right as Beating for Knockout. Grab one of my DCEs. And he will be knocking me out with Crab for 280, and he took his last two prize cards. <laughs> I did not say I was good at this deck, but you see the basic point of it. Um, this is the winning deck of 12th place Dallas Regionals Tyler Jackson. I did my best to represent it in a match. I did not do so well. But you see, you see the whole list and the point of this. So, thank you for tuning in. Congratulations to Tyler Jackson. Thank you. And stay, stay tuned. Like and subscribe, please.